Well, welcome back, everybody, to uh, another episode of Living Small with Chuck. It's been quite a few months since I have taken a, a video of the house, kind of showing where I'm at. Uh, probably should have taken some more in the meantime. Um, there was a lot that's gone on. You can still hear Joey yelling. Hi, Joey. Yeah. There's a lot that's gone on. Um, a lot of progress we've made between me and my dad. Um, we have We've crushed it. Uh, there's still a lot left to do here. I'm not saying that we are anywhere near done, but I kind of wish I would have taken a couple more of these along the way so you guys could see the exact process. Um, so here is the kitchen currently. Um, last time, I believe that there was still the old floor joist down. Uh, this has new floor joist, new subfloor, a new foundation underneath it uh, all the way. This whole side here, this is the, the living room. Um, the lights are in, the electricals are working. I'm waiting on two cabinets uh, to come in that were special order. You can't really see it there. And let me come up closer here. Maybe you can see it. These are a blue color. And they didn't keep those in stock. I ordered my cabinets from, which A plus to them. That's Bob's Discount Home Center in uh, Effingham, Illinois. Uh, did a great job. I've got my flooring down. I actually I work for a flooring company. So got this going down i actually have to where i can join on later on when i do my add-on into the bedroom but i'm kind of hopping around here but uh appliances are still the old appliances but i have my new farmhouse sink here um these are all soft closed drawers um mess i mean that's a 36 by 39 and a 30 by 39 massive wall cabinets uh go back in here to the bathroom right now uh, we have it all tore out. We moved the toilet used to be right here. You can see the hole in the floor that we've patched. We've moved the toilet over so we can put the vanity here and I'll get it off of the outside wall. Uh, shower is still the same dirty, nasty thing because every every weekend we uh, are doing a project in here and it's dirt and dust everywhere. Um, and so we're battling keeping everything clean with that. Um, you can see my shower stuff. Not my shower stuff. You can see my bathroom stuff is out here because I don't have a sink in the bathroom right now. Uh, I used to have a sink back here, which this has all gotten moved around. The washer and dryer used to be over here, and then I had a sink here, and my water heater was there. Well, my new water heater's in. My brand new AC and furnace is in, um, or air handler, whatever you want to call it if you're being technical, but that's all in. The new electrical box is in. The new plumbing is in. You can see all my wonderful PEX work back here. It's actually not that wonderful, but... uh. Don't go into my house. It doesn't look that bad under the house and the walls. There's some spots that I wish it was a little different. But uh, I'm going to have my deep freezer sit right here eventually. Uh, and either have a cabinet set up or I'm going to do something different here. This door isn't even staying now. We were going to try and keep it or try and keep a door there to go into the backyard. But the door that's going here, we're going to move some stuff in the backyard to get that open. This, in the last video I know, was my living room. You came into it from that room which i'll show you that door here in a second again uh just to prove this is the same house but it's my bedroom slash overflow bathroom stuff uh it's not the cleanest but whatever it's all this is all new drywall um we have really done a lot i mean okay it's, uh, we're gonna take a glamour shot of this again look, look look at that ceiling like tell me that ceiling isn't freaking awesome there's gonna be a ceiling mount exhaust fan that goes up there that's what the hole is it's expensive there's a lot of stuff going on. I haven't, I haven't even ordered it yet. I don't have the money for it. I'll be 100% honest with you. That's $1,600 that could go somewhere else right now. Now, here's the old part of the house still. Um, this is original floors. And... Okay, so all that shaking you heard was the entire floor joist jumping up and down. That's why we replaced everything. There's two by six floor joists underneath this. Um, they're just not going to cut it. And uh, we're replacing the foundation anyway, so why not replace the floor joist? That's the door that used to take you to the other bed or to where the bedroom is now. There's my old furnace back there, which is completely turned off now. Uh, and the new furnace is running everything except for the room that I'm in right now. Uh, my bedroom was back here for a while and my living room was here. Uh, now it's just kind of storage and it's I still have my clothes hanging here because I haven't put shelving up in the bedroom yet. I was supposed to grab that today while I was in St. Louis. Totally forgot. Uh, but... I digress. All right, let me run outside here. There's not a whole lot that's changed outside yet. We'll go out this door. This door is new. Uh, my dad and his girlfriend gave me 
this outside dining set, which has been super nice, especially with, since it's been getting warmer. Uh, when me and my dad take break here on the weekends, we just eat outside and it's a lot nicer than worrying about sitting down on the couch or anything else because I don't have a, a table to sit at. Uh, the bar, when the bar comes in, that's where it's, we're going to sit when you're eating. Um, not much has changed back here. There's my old water heater. Uh, that window is just boarded off right now because I don't have enough storm windows to cover everything until we put the new windows in. Um, new windows are in the garage. Um, I've got some stuff planted now. Uh, I've got some sage there and a couple other herbs there going. I kind of, my garden's there this year. I just didn't have the time to devote to it with the house that's going on. Um, that condenser coil is going to go away. Uh, this was all more grass, but then I've, I've been slowly grading all of this with my dad's bobcat when I had it up here. Um, trying to get the water to run away from the house, which was a problem we really struggled with. But So the garden as it is right now, like I said, it's kind of eh, lackluster. Uh, I've got onions and garlic. I've got tomato island, asparagus island, pepper island, and then garlic island are just kind of these berms that I have set up out here. Um, I have mint. In between there and there, I've got an elderberry plant going over there. Um, I stole some strawberries from my grandma. I killed most of them. Uh, so hopefully at least a couple survived because those are some strawberries that have been in the family for a while, even though I can just go get more from her. Um, purple coneflower, which is looking right now. Um, a little bit of the extra dirt that I have from grading everything. I already used all of the dirt that I dug out from underneath the house. Um, we have a full door on this here shack now there underneath all this dirt there's also a, a concrete pathway that was the sidewalk that was on the side of the house uh, i'm sure that was in the last video but we have redone a little bit of this it's still kind of a mess in here because like i said paying attention to other stuff but so got a light there and a light there now that actually work weird actually they worked before i shouldn't lie about that but it just wasn't safe like a lot of things around here um, the mountain of extra building materials that is left over from either pulling landscaping out or pulling stuff out of the house i'm saving all two by fours and two by sixes and lumber uh, because of the shortage that is going on well shortage that is going on with materials and causing the price to increase so if i need a little end of two by four i'm not going to go buy one because it's just too darn expensive Look at that cilantro just popping off. I'm pretty sure that's cilantro. Actually, I forgot, actually. But it's doing well and it tastes good. So I throw it in some food every once in a while. Just a little update on the garage. We have new switches. A new garage door opener, because my dad's sweet. And for my birthday or Christmas last year, he got me a garage door opener. New lights in here. Whew, let, me, let me clean that off real quick. All right. New lights in here. It's still fuzzy. Sorry about the picture quality, but... Those are some Barina LED lights that I got off of Amazon. They are plenty bright for in here. Um, that's the rest of my flooring to finish out the master bedroom, bath, and master closet. Uh, you can see some of the foam insulation in there. That is what we're using to insulate the foundation. So that way we can keep that a little warmer underneath and hopefully keep pipes from freezing. Not a lot of other stuff out here that's different. I think I had the windows in the last video. We've had them for a while. We wanted to get them, so we had the sizes. Uh, we have tore out, or I tore out the shower in here. We've just put a floor drain in. That outlet is going to control all my grow lights for starting seeds and everything else. Um, the new box is in here, so that's a 200 amp box that feeds the house. That's a 100 amp box in the house. Um, but this is a lot safer of a setup than what they had before. All the wiring is up to code. Um, utility thing is going to say I'm going to eventually replace the stool out here with something that's a little nicer. Um, but two foot barina lights in here providing plenty of light newer chest freezer just because i needed a chest freezer because i buy bulk pork and beef there was a septic line until a couple weeks ago that ran up out of that over and then and where that band board is just kind of leaning against the house uh it went in there. Well, I put the band board in because there's no longer a pipe there to keep animals out of my crawl space and to keep my animals in if they do go down there because they can still get down there behind my washer and dryer right now since that's not drywalled and finished. But now, my dad, a while ago, 
dug this out. He jackhammered this out and cut it out. Cut it out and jackhammered it out, I guess. And put the septic line underneath so that way that can all be flat surface. Cars and truck. I will give it to that car. It uh, it's crushed it. Just been dead on reliable, even though I don't give it the attention it needs. New AC unit. I took the sidewalk out all the way around here. That's no, I'm not. That's not going back in either. Newer front door. You got the light up there. This pad is coming out. There will be a new pad going in there, along with a new sidewalk. Don't mind the neighborhood kids. And then I've got my pear tree and my apple trees over here, I'm just kind of chilling. I prune them down every year so they stay a little lower. Uh, this one I got. I don't know what's going on with this guy. I should probably look at it a little more. Make sure she's doing okay. It's dropped. I got some apples on there, but most of the blooms fell off and didn't produce anything. Uh, but they're doing okay. The yards, yeah. Right now, I've got some lavender growing way down here. Just trying to take over whatever this grass is. That's really annoying. I'm hoping that it takes over instead of the grass taking over it. But yeah, that is the. Uh... The update on the house currently, not a whole lot else going on. Um, we are going to be moving this back fence. I didn't show you guys out there. So we're moving that back fence that's right here. That little four footer with the gate that I walked through to go to the garage. That's going to get moved forward. So that way when the back door goes in, you walk out, you're more in the backyard. <laughs> Joey likes to stare out the hole that the dryer vent used to be in. Because uh, he's a weirdo. I just had to show that real quick. Um, he loves the outside and they always are trying to get out, but I can't let them because they run. Um, and there's little Sophie. She's still hanging out here too. But thanks guys. But thanks guys for watching. If you did, if not, I have a, a video reference for what this house has been along the way. And that's really my biggest point in having this is kind of going back and looking at what I started with and, and realizing how grateful I am to have a dad that can help me with all of this, having the, the support group around me with, some of the people I know and some of the people he knows so that we, we can do this all ourselves and not break the absolute bank putting this in. Um, most people, if they would have bought this house, I bought it a little high, they'd be upside down on it by now. But with the work we've done, I'm actually in the positive on equity, even with all the work in there, not considering the labor, maybe. But if I needed to get out of the house, I could, I'm not stuck in it. Um, and it's, it's going to be a super nice house when it's done.